Okay, all right, all right, all right. So what we've got here is a three-tone sunburst hardtail. Look at this. Got my little gun. This is the Develobus SRI Mini. We've had it for like 20 years. So, this is Dark Salem. That gets put on here as the dark color. I like to do the sides first, leaving the faces last to do the actual burst, because that way I can clean them if I need to, if I get too much overspray from doing the sides, because when I uh, hold it in this orientation rather than like this, or let's say you were hanging it like this, you could do it that way too, like right if it was hanging from a coat hanger or something. The point being, trying to minimize the amount of overspray getting on the, on the faces. So that way when you do the burst, you got a nice clean face. For some years, they kind of did have a dirtier center inside. You know, like 54 strats, the two-tone sunburst. I don't know if all of them were, but there was a bunch that were kind of not so great. Well, I don't know if you would say not so great, but they had a lot of overspray, and it, it had a certain look, you know? Maybe people like it. There we go. Now, I like to do the bottom like this. I don't know if I'm on the camera with this position or not. Probably. Okay. Now, I will turn my fan down to no fan, and when you do that, it seems to make the air pressure go up, so I'll turn that down, and then I'm going to do the burst. Regular three-tone sunburst. Three-tone sunburst is about one finger width wide. So I'll just get a nice start here of the burst going. Usually go around a few times. You can kind of, each time you go around, make it a little wider or narrower as you go, just in case you, you know, you can correct as you go. See about one finger. Yeah. Do this side now. The face, the front. You can see a little overspray that got on this surface when I was doing the sides, but um, it's not very much, and it's pretty much covered by the burst here when I do this part. Okay.
Nie. Okay. Now, it's pretty wet. Um, normally what I would do is, uh, uh, all right there. So that took a minute talking to that guy. So now what I can do is tack it off. See how fast lacquer dries. So I'll wipe off this face with this tack rag here. Yeah. Okay. Then I could just put the red on right now and be done with it. But what the way I like to do these is put a, a, a light coat of clear on, on it right now. And then kind of finalize the burst. So this is a clear lacquer. Just gonna put a little light coat on there, not very much. Because Lacquer tends to, what I've noticed, when you clear it like this, let's say it was done and you're, you know, you're clearing it as a final step and you're going to put, you know, they'll put more than one coat on there. But what happens is your burst, that little fady edge right there, when you put clear lacquer over it, it kind of, it separates sometimes and it looks a little funky, you know, almost like it shrinks. So in order to counter that, I'm almost out of paint here. I'm going to add a little bit more if I actually have any. I don't know if I do. Just enough to kind of go around one more time. Um, yeah, in order to counter that sort of imperfect look that it can get, I put the lacquer on there, sort of force it to shrink if it's going to. Then I barely pull the trigger, and I just aim just inside of the fade there on the dark part and let the edge of my little fan sort of soften that edge even more not trying to make any not trying to make it any wider just trying to make that inner fade a little more uniform and soft looking You probably can't even notice a difference. Let me see. I'll try to explain it to you. I've probably done done this explanation a thousand times. But can you see? Let me get a pointer. Can I get a pointer? Can you see right here? Wow, I got a tripod thing. Uh, <laughs> well, anyway, that's what I'm working on. It, you know, it's just a, it's a detail. You don't have to. And then I'll put my red on there. This is all nitrocellulose lacquer. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can see <clears throat> on the table or not, but yeah, I got just no fan. But I can control how much I pull the trigger. And I just aim just on the inside edge here of that black. I'm shooting just on the black, barely. So that my paint kind of softly goes out towards the center. It 
so it has a nice gradient. Now I know a lot of people don't like three tones and they want two tones, but you know, I just do what I'm told. Some people like three tones, okay? So there is my version of a three-tone sunburst on a hardtail. Look at that. I like it. <laughs> 